Hello, hello, hello. Hello everyone. This is Dr. Rose Murali Krishnan from Los Angeles. How is everyone doing? It was actually such a pretty day in Los Angeles today. It was actually raining all of yesterday. And uh, you know, even in the morning, even this morning, uh, it was uh, pretty cloudy in the afternoon and pretty shining hot in the late, late afternoon till dusk. And I hope uh, everyone is having a fantastic day in your town and uh, wherever you live in. And if you are still waking up in India, good morning to you all. <laughs> if you are uh, done with the week in the U.S. on Friday night, Good evening to you all, and I'll take a bed to say good night to you all soon. And I enjoy being happy every day through music and uh, fine arts, and uh, hopefully you are all too. Um, you know, this life is very beautiful. Whether or not we agree with this uh, depends on our state of mind and the world around us. Uh, although it is true that um, there is suffering in the world, in the moments when the sun shines on the winter sky, when the birds sing together in spring or the streams flow forevermore and the flowers bloom their colorful faces, life is always beautiful. To be alive and be given a chance at life is beautiful, especially when you enjoy it with music and dance or any other fine arts, <laughs> you know, life will always be very beautiful and I guarantee you that. Today I would like to discuss about um, the exceptional topic on Artist Beyond Limits series. Carnatic Violin or I would say um, Carnatic Violinist and uh, the individuals uh, who had uh, taken the rich tradition of Carnatic music and uh, elevated it to the new heights through their mastery of the violin. For those who are getting familiarized with Carnatic music, I will uh, give a little brief of this music. Carnatic music has a rich history dating back over 2000 years it is a complex and intricate art form that requires years of dedication, um, years of dedicated practice and study to master as it is uh, uh, known for its uh, complexity of its uh, compositions, uh, melodies, uh, intricate rhythms, improvisations, etc. While the violin originally was not a traditional Indian instrument as it was uh, introduced in the late 18th century and uh, has since been an um, integral part of the Indian music. Thanks to Baluswami Dikshatar who is the brother of uh, one of the Karnataka Trinity, Muthuswami Dikshatar, for introducing violin to the Indian music from the West. And uh, when it comes to Carnatic violin, few maestros uh, 
uh, have achieved the level of uh, excellence as uh, exceptional Carnatic violin artists, such as yesteryear's uh, Lal Gudi Jayaraman sir, uh, M. S. Gopal Krishnan sir, uh, T. N. Krishnan sir, and uh, living legends uh, such as uh, L. Subramaniam sir, uh, Kanya Kumariam, uh, L. Shankar sir, you know, to name a few who have uh, not only mastered the technical aspects of the instruments, uh, I mean instrument violin, uh, but also have uh, imbued their playing with emotion, expression, and uh, creativity. They have pushed the boundaries of uh, what was uh, thought possible on the violin and expanded the repertoire of uh, Carnatic music beyond its limits. What sets these artists apart is their ability to seamlessly blend the Carnatic style with the unique qualities of the violin, creating a sound that is both rooted in tradition and innovation. They have also inspired countless others to take up the violin and continue the tradition of uh, Carnatic music. In addition to their exceptional musical abilities, these artists have also made significant contributions uh, to preserving and promoting Carnatic music. They have trained uh, numerous disciples and have collaborated uh, uh, with other musicians from different genres and uh, cultures, uh, further expanding the reach of uh, Carnatic music to the next level. On the same traditional line, there is uh, one more fine violinist who is going to be today's special guest. You all probably guessed who it is. Yes, uh, he is making a phenomenal remark and in the field of Carnatic music. Yeah, you all guessed it correctly. And without further ado, let us welcome today's artist, Vani Kala Sudhakara, Violin Maestro, Sri Vittal Ramamurti Sir. And I will take a few seconds to uh, uh, welcome... <laughs> Hello, Vital sir. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. How are you doing, Vital sir? Very, <laughs> very, 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 very beautiful to see you on uh, this uh, episode today, Vital sir. Thank you so much for joining. And, uh, you know, this is uh, one of the uh, series I just wanted to bring some of the artists who achieved uh, really extraordinary in uh, their field. And I'm very, very uh, happy and glad to bring you in today and uh, for um, uh, those who do not know you know but of course Vital G's uh, achievements are beyond comprehension uh, but I would like to officially introduce him uh, to our audience uh, who do not know him as we have a very diverse audience from around the world and in case uh, if anyone from any part of the world do not know him of course uh, there might not be any I just wanted to uh, read a little uh, a brief bio about him. Sri Vital Ramamuthi sir, an internationally acclaimed a violinist and a top ranking artist of All India Radio, is the torchbearer and the leading disciple of uh, uh, the Lal Gudi Barney. His uh, resume of uh, accomplishments uh, include being a solo artist accompanist, teacher par excellence, and last but not least, a humble student of the musical art form, Carnatic musical art form. He has accompanied stalwarts such as uh, his uh, uh, guru, um, Lal Guru Jai Raman sir, Dr. Uh, M. Balamurli Krishna sir, and almost 
all of uh, today's uh, star performers. He has uh, students worldwide, uh, many of whom are uh, leading performers uh, today. Uh, to give back to the community, uh, Vitalsar conducts a free summer music camps uh, in his uh, native house, uh, uh, Karun Bidil, uh, where he was born to groom more than 250 students uh, in the Gurukulam style. He was awarded with several titles, including Barni Kala Sudhakara and Astana Vidwan of uh, Sri Shingeri Mat and Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Pitam, etc. Says the Indian Express, it is always a musical feast to hear the violin speak through the expressive bow of Vital Ramamurti. Welcome to the art. Taste beyond Lemma series, uh, uh, Vital Sad, and I'm very, very happy to bring you in. How are you? <laughs> thank you. Namaskaram. Doing great, Namaskaram. and thank you very much for uh, this uh, <clears throat> wonderful opportunity to share my views and background and uh, my journey of music with all of you. Thank you. Thank you for accepting it. See, what it is, is most of the time we all know, you know, most of the musicians, we all know them. They are extraordinary musicians, but we do not know what brought them to that level. You know, what is their childhood journey? What is their, uh, you know, like a teenage journey? What is their adulthood journey? You know, we only see uh, most of these musicians as a great artist on the platform when they play. We clap and then we leave and we don't have any kind of, uh, you know, conversation. We don't know any uh, story. Behind. I mean, of course, some of them who grew up with you might know, but the world might not know. So I created this platform uh, for our audience to know about, uh, you know, each and every, uh, you know, great musicians, what it brought them uh, to be who they are in the world, you know. And uh, typically, Vital Sir, first of all, I wanted to just ask the same old question, which everybody might have <laughs> asked you. You know, I would like to ask the typical question, you know, every anchor is asked. Please tell us about your childhood background, your family, parents, and any siblings that you're schooling and upbringing as a young child. I mean, it's too many questions. You can put all that together in one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I born and brought up in a village in Karnataka which is uh, uh, near uh, Dharmasthala. Dharmasthala is a popular uh, place where there is a temple for Manjunatha Swami, Shiva. So from there, our house is 10 kilometers. It is in the foothill of that Western Ghats with lots of green um, waterfalls and everything. So I brought and brought up there. And... Uh, I have to say about our village. <clears throat> our village is surrounded with two rivers which had no bridges. So in the rain season, it was like an island. We were inside the uh, village. We cannot go out. We can go out up to a level of water with the boat. But if the water is more than that, we have to stay in our village. That's how I born and brought up. And our school was three and a half miles to walk every day in the mud road without having any slippers, we have to walk. Maybe it is sunshine or rain or uh, whatever, we have to walk and uh, go to the school. Uh, that's how we, me, my sisters, we all started our uh, childhood days. And my grandfather, that is my mother's father, was a violinist. He was in Coimbatore. So he uh, was a teacher in the school and he started, uh, of course, my, he started teaching my mother and my mother started teaching me in the beginning. And I, my violin journey started with his uh, teachings. When I was in seventh grade, I went to Coimbatore and stayed with him for one month and I started the very basic violin with him. And uh, of course, mother came to our village as a uh, daughter-in-law and uh, she <clears throat> uh, wanted all her children to be musicians or they can take up the agriculture. That's my father's profession. He was an agriculturist and my mother was a musician. So mother wanted all of us to learn music and take either music 
or agriculture as our profession. So she started uh, the basic lessons for us and uh, through with the school lessons, me and all my sisters, we learned music. And after 10th grade, we have no other opportunity to learn more. That too, especially violin, there was no teachers in our uh, village. So I have to go to another city to pursue my college education as well as violin. So one of our family dear <clears throat> friends, my uncle, he took me to a town called Shimoga. Shimoga is another important town in uh, Karnataka where I started learning from one of the students of uh, Lal Gudisa. His name is HK Venkatram. So with my college, I used to go to his house every morning. Of course, he lives in a village called Hosahalli, which is some six kilometers from the Shimoga town. I used to go in a cycle and play every day, play for two to three hours with him, seven to 10 o'clock. Then I come to college. That was my uh, four or five years of formal violin training, I can see. During that time, I started playing concerts and also I, uh, all my sisters, they also came to Shimoga. They also started learning music with other gurus and with me and like that we were all staying together and we started our musical journey. And when I started learning, maybe in two or three years, I started playing small concerts with my Guruji, HK Venkatram. And after that, I started accompanying. So that's how my musical journey started. And also, when I was uh, uh, studying music, my Guruji um, um, arranged few students to teach. So I was also started teaching. So uh, like my musical uh, what a studentship, I was also a teacher all, all these years. So that time itself, I started teaching and uh, that's how I started my musical journey and my college education. Wow, <laughs> how amazing. I mean, you know, two uh, uh, options, either you do violin or you do agriculture and a very tough uh, journey, uh, you know, uh, as an initial uh, you know, uh, in, in a childhood. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you pick the right choice. And uh, so we are all very, very fortunate to have you as a musician with us. And I'm so happy to hear that, uh, Vitalji. And uh, share your um, initial music training, you know, um, family support uh, while growing up as a young boy. Uh, your, you know, like a music education, of course. And uh, your childhood influences, of course, you mentioned most of it. And then also I wanted to know, um, you know, like what, uh, you know, like what was uh, the time frame? Or were you a teenager or uh, until when uh, did you live in that village? Yeah, I lived there till my 10th grade, maybe up to my 16th year, I was uh, in the village. So when I, so I know the agricultural, uh, uh, I can also do agriculture now because I was helping my dad. Every morning we used to uh, water the plants and uh, Every evening we will, will help them in, we had Areca at plantation, coffee and everything. So oh, I also- Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yes, so I also, we had all the cash crops like vanilla, Areca net and um, uh, pepper, cardamom, cashew nuts and everything. Even now we have that place and you are all most welcome to visit that place. It's one of the wonderful places. Of course, I can't wait to visit that place. Next time when we come to India, we will make yeah. sure that we go and visit that place. So before going to school, it is a fun to be in the agricultural field to help my dad. So we used to do that. And after coming back or in the holidays also, we used to do uh, the agriculture thing. And of course, walking to the school in uh, to that uh, three miles is a great fun. Because on the road, we can have some fruits to eat mangoes to eat, we can throw stones and get mangoes and eat and... For a couple of mangoes, we used to walk, 10, 15 students walking together for three, three miles is a great fun. It is, we, have, we were enjoying that. That's how we did the school and the, all the teachers, they were all very supportive of uh, uh, 
my musical journey also so they were also supportive but at the solbod i just want to mention one thing in recent years one of my teachers uh, son's wedding they invited me for a concert so i went there and uh, after the wedding was over our concert was there then they put a chair on the stage and uh, they asked me to come and sit we are not used to sit in front of the teachers so but no no you have to sit here then i saw all my teachers from my kindergarten till my 10th grade all the teachers were assembled they were all very old they were all assembled and uh, they honored me on the stage that was wow. the greatest honor i ever uh, considered because uh, one is giving the flowers one is uh, putting a shawl and one is giving some memento and one another one is um, Uh, doing something else like that you it's all uh, wonderful occasion so just to wow. say that how, how amazing the teacher and the student in the school life it was so wonderful and uh, even now the families of the teachers are so close to me and uh, it's all like that then yeah, after i'm really happy to know that yeah that's amazing <laughs> then after 16th year then i went to shimoga even to go to shimoga it is very difficult because as i told you we had the river we used to start from home at 7 and 4 in the morning we used to hold all the luggages for our college studies me and my sisters we walk to the place where the bus is that is dharmasthala it is 10 kilometers we have to walk there and take a bus from there to go to shimoga that is how we were doing Wow, amazing, amazing that I can't believe it. I mean, I don't know whether kids will be doing those kind of stuff these days. <laughs> And uh, you know that those are the hard work which brought you to be who you are today. And what age did you come to Chennai and what was it for music learning purposes or for uh, higher education or for any other uh, you know business opportunities? What was your reason to move to Chennai? Yeah. So when I was uh, learning with my guru uh, in uh, Shimoga, H K Venkatram sir, uh, I want to say that I was dreaming music all the time. I was learning just Rara Ven Gopala, that's the basic song. But when I sit and come to our village uh, for six hours, we have to travel by bus. If I close my eyes, I see people are applauding me for playing the concert, like things. So three hours, my mind will think only about. playing raravan gopala and play um, uh, the applause from the people and i am performing different sabhas and doing all those things so that's how i was immersed in music even nam ke varse they say you know i was going to college and did my bcom that was uh, very secondary and my music uh, was taken the prime role so i was got introduced to uh, t rukmini madam in uh, shimoga she came for a concert and i was uh, introduced to her because i don't know tamil at that time so i cannot come and uh, live in chennai so she knows kannada so i can that is the bridging thing between me and t uh, rupini um, madam so i went and uh, asked him her and she uh, graciously accepted to take me as her student so then i uh, came to chennai and my uh, uncle was here i was staying with him for some time and uh, people like yes we krishnan they arranged me to stay in a room and all those things so then i came to chennai i learned from uh, tirupen madam for uh, maybe for a year then i played in krishna gala sabha one of the uh, leading sabhas here and uh, i played for papana sama shokramani and uh, wow. both of us <laughs> and me both of us got the first prize in that uh, uh, concert series so that the prize was given by lalgudi sir so lalgudi sir when he saw me in that concert he saw vita kwada urnal let's come home and show me how you play and because he already knows me he saw me in his teach students house in shimoga and he also visited once to our house village house when he was he came to dharmasthala so he so one pilayar chaturthi day that's ganesha festival day i went to lalgudi sir's house i played shanmuga priya siddhi vinayakam and he was very appreciative and he wanted to teach me so i had the greatest blessing i think where lalgudi sir himself called me it is he a was, complete i mean i would say it is a blessing i mean how you know he came to see you in a concert and then he invites you to his house and then accepts you as a student you know uh, by offering you 
you know that is amazing that's a really really amazing it's a blessing yeah, and right? my journey blessing. to and my journey to chennai is only for music nothing else <clears throat> and with the, to, to support music i i had lot of free time i cannot practice for uh, 12 hours so i was also doing my cost accounting i was attending the classes very early in the morning and after 10 o'clock i used to come to sar's house when i started learning from lalgudi sir it is like a gurukula vasam gurukula vasam wow. you know That's what is gurukula yeah, vasam so we yeah. will be every day i go there i will stay with the guruji whenever he has time to teach he will come and teach for hours together or he experience, shares his experiences and we winning we had vocal classes all the students like bombay jayshree sp ram shankari krishnan padma shankar they were all assembling and we were all singing for hours together with lalgudi sir's guidance every for every student he used to give some small intricate uh, swara patterns to sing so it was uh, wonderful memories and the day to i am there sometimes i used to help him to go out is taking care of his accounts bank accounts and all those because i was one among their family even now so uh, i used to do all those uh, things so it is not only the music i learned from lalgudi sir it is the whole life experiences i can see it may be it very beautiful how to write address in a uh, envelope because he says we should not i am you are not going to read the address should be read by the postman so write it very legibly so that he can he read it easily like that oh and my he, god abla organized he, that organized ah <laughs> not only 100% i don't know whether he was 99% person. So, wow wow he used to keep a paper on the um, floor then he will keep the um, uh, envelope because he don't want the dust from the floor should uh, um, stick on to the envelope like that is small thing when you buy some vegetables he will say how to buy uh, this uh, uh, vendaka lady's finger how to buy elanir how to buy which musambai uh, is has more juice and all those things it is uh, wow it is amazing 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 and of course, you know uh, trust me oh is there if there something is needed you send vital because he will bring the best so that is a great honor i i, I used to have from him that's how my guru kalavasam days came and i i learned a lot 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 of music and lot of other life skills with him and of course right. uh, his right right yeah i mean uh, you know like uh, lalgudi sir lalgudi jaraman sir is a legend and uh, you know and you are one of the torch bearers of uh, lalgudi legacy and uh, you know like i mean it's beautiful to hear your journey with sir like you did the gurukula vasam and everything how how long uh, did you do the gurukula vasam with the uh, sir yeah, from since uh, 87 to maybe 93 i did oh, 6 wow. years and just uh, leave it him then of wow. course the <clears throat> the teacher student relationship was there till the end of his uh, life right of right right and he came to our village uh, several times and uh, one time we, he came with all his uh, senior students like uh, krishnan sir viji bombay jayshree sp ram shankar krishnan we all went to our village and we were there for a week just uh, practicing enjoying the nature and uh, like that and also wow, in, that's in my very wedding, beautiful yeah in my wedding he his uh, wife of course amma and uh, his uh, mother grandmother they all came and they stayed with us for five days oh so, wow how so amazing the, previous day of the building and after that two three days they were with us and it was so wonderful yes awesome i have a little small clipping of uh, uh you know you as a little young boy not a boy i mean uh, you know adolescent uh, <laughs> you know i found so i wanted to play for our audience just one second <laughs>
I mean, you were playing the tambura for Sarah. That's amazing. You know, yeah. that's that's you know, like how you grow with your teacher is you know, like that's amazing. Until today, you have that kind of uh, you know love and affection for your guru. That's really amazing, uh, uh, Vitalji. And you know, uh, one more thing I wanted at this point, I, uh, the Murdangam player who played. We all know. We are all aware that. Uh, uh, legendary um, Rudangam Maestro Karekudi Manisar passed away uh, two days ago, not yesterday actually, um, Thursday, uh, May 4th, after a prolonged uh, illness at the age of 77. He had dominated the Carnatic music uh, for almost a half a century, I would say, and enthralled the audience as well as trained the scores of students and played for yesteryear doens and uh, uh, of uh, Carnatic music as well as present day musicians including Emma Sublakshmi, Emma Kumari, Emma, uh, DK Patamal, of course Lalguri Jairaman said that we just witnessed a little bit and uh, Sanjay Subramaniam, TM Krishna to name a few. Kari Kudimani sir, um, you know, revolutionized the role of um, Rudangam um, in uh, concerts by pioneering the Thalavadya concert in Carnatic music. Two percussion instruments performing solos without vocals or veena or violin as the entire Carnatic music world expresses uh, grief over the uh, demise of uh, Mani sir. We are, uh, you know, unfortunately we are born alone, we live alone and we die alone. Only through our love and friendship we create the illusion for the moment that we are not alone. Knowing this uh, secret, let us all join in few seconds of silence, uh, you know, just silent prayer to dedicate uh, for uh, his divine soul to rest in peace. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's definitely, you know, something that we all have to do it so that his uh, a beautiful uh, divine soul can rest in peace and we will start the silence for 20 to 30 seconds right now. And thank you all for joining us and uh, definitely, you know, um, our prayers will uh, keep his uh, beautiful um, soul to rest in peace. And uh, Vital sir, I have uh, this, uh, you know, something special for you. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Someone special wants to uh, meet you today and okay. I'm going to bring that someone special to say hello to you. Hello, Murli ji. <laughs> Hi, Vital Jar. I'm Vital King. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Fantastic. Welcome. 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 I think you've been uh, you've been with uh, with us as well in our our spring nectar also as a as a teacher guide. You have taught my daughter as well and trained my daughter and also trained several of our students and played in. Uh, you know, uh, so this is a wonderful 25 years, I think, 25 years of uh, relationship and uh, almost looking yeah. forward. Uh, role model. All the kids have uh, lots and lots of feeling. Uh, a lot of them are also listening today. Uh, those uh, who know you, they're also on the on the on this uh, on the slide. They are listening to you. Uh, looking forward to hear more from you, and I just came here to say uh, welcome to you. And uh, what a what a wonderful uh, musician, person, uh, music lover you are. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, sir. Usually, Murliji doesn't come in any of my uh, you know lives to talk to. Yeah. I mean, he really uh, it's very special that he uh, you know appeared to say hello to you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, Mandiji. I feel you're you are, you are right here next to me. <laughs> soon. Thank you. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Murali, sir. And uh, for all your kind words. And it's all mutual. Your love, affection, your uh, dedication towards music, the way you and Rose Ji 
they created the community in los angeles is unbelievable and you shared so much of experience of your college days and uh, working with other musicians and all those it's always a, a great learning experience to be with you and uh, sharing all the musical nuances together so thank you very much for every time i you know that how much i also um, looking forward to the visits to los angeles and staying with you and uh, discussing about music thank you thank you thank you for coming thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Murli Ji, for joining us, and uh, that a uh, uh, few minutes uh, make a big difference. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, so let's continue with our uh, next question, Vital Ji. You had mm -hmm. performed hundreds and thousands of uh, uh, concerts with the you know various star musicians of Carnatic music. Uh, can yeah, you just, share? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, okay, you you go ahead with the question, but before that, I want to say that. my mother is the driving force for me for everything so she has maintained a diary where i performed from taking from my diary is on the looking into the uh, wherever she has her own so she wrote down that till last uh, june i played 6000 pound wow uh, and, you and definitely did a big round of applause for that <laughs> yeah, she went uh, wrote the date Um, the concert place and whom I have accompanied and even what sambhavana is that is what the remuneration I got for the concert. So it wow, is amazing. Wow. And she has maintained a book where how many violins I purchased, what price I purchased, when I repaired the violin and everything. Because wow. Because she's so uh, what I can proud about my my and my sisters. I want to talk about my sisters also. Uh, journey on music, so she's um, doing everything for us. That um, just right. I wanted You're to right. mention this because you told that you have played thousands of concerts. I thought there is a number which is only the credit goes to my mother who took the uh, schedule index and uh, she made it possible. True. Yeah. Instead of saying hundreds and thousands of concerts, I have to say thousands or tens of thousands. <laughs> Then it'll make sense. It's very close because after you reach, uh, you know, five, it, uh, you know, it's six thousand means that's uh, closer to ten thousand. So uh, I instead of saying that you had performed hundreds and thousands, I should have said thousands of uh, tens and thousands of concerts with various, uh, you know, stalwarts of uh, Carnatic musicians you had played. And can you share, um, you know, how how your performance opportunities started in the beginning and uh, how did you feel as a young musician in the beginning when you got uh, those uh, performance opportunities yes so i started performing in uh, shimoga where i learned from my first teacher i was playing for the local artists and i play playing solo concerts or duet with my guruji and all those then when i came to chennai of course chennai is the place for opportunities as a musician so i performed in krishnagana sabha where i got the prize and wherever i performed i think it is the it is my playing and maybe my uh, the the interaction with the musicians the way they i interact maybe every musician started liking me so one or two instances i have to say one there is one uh, recording company wanted to do five musicians project five musicians in one cassette Soumya ji, Santana Gopal sir, Unni Krishnan, Vijay Shiva, and Sanjay Subramanian. So they all unanimously selected me as a violinist. Oh so wow! Was, <laughs> how, how amazing! amazing. How amazing! Was, in the nineties, it was in uh, around eighty-nine uh, or ninety that uh, happened. And like that, there was a festival in uh, uh, Singapore where I had to accompany T V Shankar Nair sir, Sudha Raghunathan Madam, Rajkumar Bharati. and several 15 concerts were there and i was selected as the violinist because the budget for the organizers were less because they can bring only one violinist so all these artists who were performing there selected vital ramurthy as the as beautiful the oh my god so that, <laughs> that's amazing that something the people like about my accompaniment as well as the way i interact with them and all this and every accompaniment of course is a great learning experience is uh, i have to give all the credits to all the um, artists whom i accompanied it may be balamurli krishna sir sheshogopalan sir rk shrikantham sir i have played uh, maybe three generations 
and next to if you sir os tyagarajan sir sudha raghunathan madam aruna sairam madam and all those and then uh, sanjeev sir beautiful, Sudhar, beautiful. you know i i had uh, collected some of the pictures uh, of you know of you playing i wanted to share with our audience also this is uh, uh you actually with uh, uh, sir as a young man <laughs> uh sir is actually singing and you are uh, playing and uh, this is with the uh, uh you know uh, krishnan sir uh, as sir's son and uh you know that's really amazing and i also have uh, you performed with uh, uh viji um krishnan sir i mean uh, largodi sir's uh, daughter and uh, that is really really amazing i mean you know like uh, these are all the uh, greatest opportunities that you know like as a young musician when you have these kind of uh, you know opportunities to perform with your own teacher and also you know not everybody as you mentioned like when you went to singapore 15 concerts every musician selected you as a you know <laughs> uh performer to uh, perform that's uh, really amazing to um, yeah. uh yeah. you know no and also tell us a little bit about uh, you know your performances in other countries around the world you know i mean you said of course singapore uh, you know like in uh, late 80s or early 90s yeah. and i know that you had performed on uh, almost in every country i mean you can just mention a country you probably uh, performed over there so uh, just uh, you know like tell us a little bit about your performances in other countries around the world and yeah. how did it feel uh, when you got the opportunity to play for senior musicians also like yeah. balamulli um, uh, krishna sir and uh, you know like uh, and just yeah. share your uh, Yeah. On that. The, the one concert I have to mention here is uh, when I played T K Govind Rao sir in the music academy in the year where he was in 1995 I, I think I have to check that maybe 1996 when he was given the Sangeeta Kalanidhi. So the Kalanidhi concert is always a very prestigious one because all the other musicians will come there. Uh, that year sangeeta kalanidhi was given to tk govind rao sir and uh, he was singing in a morning concert and i was playing violin and every musician you name every living legends at the time were there in this concert when the screen went up when i saw that everybody is sitting there i could not even put my bow on the violin because i was so oh, because i have heard them i have saw them and i am they are all god for me i saw them with all the respect like a god so they are all sitting there and listening to uh, his concert of course i am accompanying them then he just told me don't worry you play well he he, he uh, thought that i am also a little nervous so so he just uh, pat me up and he uh, brought me the brought the best from me in that concert and that concert was uh, very unique and uh, explaining about the abroad concerts of course i have toured uh, almost all, most of the countries with sudha raghunathan madam i have to say that australia new zealand us and most of the countries in europe and of course in um, dubai and other international festivals and all those and uh, in one concert we had uh, a global voice meet where only violin and murdangam was from india and uh, all the other musicians were singing with their own instruments and they were playing the instrument so we get to play the other uh, uh, musicians also in the end so it was all wow, great experience. that's amazing yeah that's yeah. amazing i mean as you mentioned you know i also uh, had uh, some uh, uh, you know this is probably oh, yeah. the one <laughs> yes, and I'm... also you know your performance with uh, you know yes. sudaji you know that's uh, really amazing that's really yes. really beautiful yeah, yeah. and so, also you 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 played uh, quite a bit with uh, um balamurli krishna sir also i also found uh, one of the uh, videos which i wanted to share with our audience okay. and uh yendaru mahano bhavu yendaru ma
நான் இங்கே இல்லாத போது கூட பாலமுரளி கிருஷ்ணா இங்கே இருக்கா நான் இல்லை எழுதிதரும் பாலமுரளி கிருஷ்ணா இல்லை இருக்காரு ஆனால் இந்த ரூபத்தில் இருக்கா because i got to introduce i got introduced to him very late in my life abdin tulwar oh my god <laughs> I, the, the, i have to thank the bargavi sundarajan for uh, first introducing bargavi sir and uh, having the us tour with him wow. when we had the us tour we really bonded well and uh, he was he was less uh, treating me like his son he used to call me and i adoru periya or அதாவது லால்குடி சாரோட இருக்கும் போது ஒரு ஸ்டைல் பாலமுரளி சாரோட இருக்கும் போது இன்னொரு ஸ்டைல் அவங்க ரெண்டு பேரோடையும் கத்துன்றது நிறைய இருக்கு நான் அத வந்து ஐ ஹேவ் டு ஹேவ் ஆல் தி ரெஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் தட்ஸ் யூ நோ தட்ஸ் ரியலி பியூட்டிফুল வெரி பியூட்டிফুল அண்ட் ஐ அம் ஷூர் தி அவார்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ நோ லைக் டைட்டில்ஸ் ஆர் தி மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் டு பி யூ நோ a great artist uh, what are the awards and titles you have uh, received uh, so far vital ji no awards na nariya of course sinna vayasil irundhe naan because i started teaching from a young age uh, i think uh, my teaching was uh, even uh, appreciated by from my guru always he used to tell with the, the students parents that vital is a very dedicated teacher and he knows how to teach to give different uh, strength he knows the strength of the student and teach adha mari enga guru vandu na vaasikkaradodeyum enoda teaching ah vandu romba enna epovume solvar ella students odey adhan periya award adhu vandu guru kitta and the peru vaangiradengiradhu or periya award adhu thavare that's really amazing i mean you know vaadiyar kitta irundhu vandu enoda student ipdi pandra i mean appdin solra per vaangiradhu it's like amazing and most uh, several students who came to lalgudi sir who could not uh, lalgudi sir could not teach him teach them so he used to wrote uh, those students to நீங்க போய் விட்டல் கிட்ட கத்துக்கோங்க கொஞ்ச நாளுக்கு அதுக்கப்புறம் நான் சொல்லித்தரேன் அப்படின்னு சொன்னது உண்டு அண்ட் ஆல் மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ வேர் அப்படியே லெவல் இருந்தா அவங்களை வந்து வாஸ்ட் கேட்டு ஹி யூஸ்ட் அப்ரிஷியேட் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் த டீச்சர் அந்த மாதிரி அவார்டு அந்த மாதிரி நிறைய முன்னால எப்படி தரதா அது கொடுத்துருக்காங்க பெஸ்ட் வயலின் பேர் கிருஷ்ணகான சபாலிய மியூசிக் அகாடமி அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் த அதர் சபாஸ் அதில் அண்ட் அஃப்கோர்ஸ் டு நேம் த அவார்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் யுவ கலா பாரதி டு ஸ்வரஜான பாரதி வாணி கலா சுதாகரா பாலமுரளி சாரி வாத்திய கலா விப்பஞ்சின்னு ஒன்று அவர் கொடுத்துருக்காரு அந்த மாதிரி அஃப்கோர்ஸ் ஆஸ்தான வித்வான் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீங்கேரி பீட்டம் அண்டு காமக்கோட்டி பீட்டம் மறுபடியும்ோ <laughs> and uh, also vital ji uh, you know the recent trend uh, in music is always uh, you know to collaborate with uh, other musicians uh, have you ever collaborated with any jazz western or uh, hindustani uh, musicians in the past yeah nan und i played with a country western musician in montreal of course i worked with the montreal music department for few years uh, taking the composition lessons for them and uh, with the music department we did a jagra jaradana there 
my very dear friend uh, dr rama bhattan he was uh, the, the uh, dean in, uh, in that college and he used to bring uh, me there and uh, i did that so i played with him in a, in a concert in the university and of course i played several concerts in jazz uh, with jazz in uh, united states and in bali also i played a few concerts and of course hindustani musicians were there uh, some jugal bandis and whatever and then of course most of the concerts are carnatic and nowadays right. i am doing more of solo i concerts. i also found uh, this one um uh, one of uh, you know this concert yeah. i think it's a jugal bandi right with uh, yes, it happened in uh, chicago tyagaraj yes oh chicago tyagaraj so this is in jfk performing center in washington dc and i also found this uh, that you performed in uh, uh, rashtrapati bhavan <laughs> yes this is when uh, the american president uh, uh, barack obama was visiting india yeah. they had mm. one concert to iccr and uh, there i played violin and guruvayur durai sir and uh, shri mukhan raja sir that playing murdangam and rindu uh, chatterjee and uh, em subramanyam sir and they are all playing the Wow, that's that's really beautiful and also you mentioned that, that you had uh, uh the astana vidwan uh, title in shringeri math so uh, yeah. that is really amazing and also uh, i found this uh, uh you know like with the swami ji um in um, you know you have page of our swami ji um yeah. oh, that okay. <laughs> that's really really amazing i'm very uh, happy to find all these uh you know greatest moments uh, in your life i just searched uh, you know like uh, to share with our audience a few of these things uh, you know that's really uh, amazing vital ji and then yeah. can you share uh, your experiences as a, a solo artist accompanying artist and also as a performer accompanying many children on their arrangements you know of course you know you are being like i mean you played for uh, you know these great uh, stalwarts uh, you know all around the world uh, you know people like uh, balamurli sir and all and then you know sitting with uh, you know like a, a children you know in their arangetram that's a complete uh, you know um, turning of your thing to go to their level to give them what uh, they can appreciate they can be and that is an amazing uh, you know uh, talent uh, of a musician you know like i i we had seen it for the past uh, 23 24 years with you and you are the only musician who stayed with us for 20 i mean we uh, changed mridanga several times but you are the only violinist you know we all as you said that you know so several of the uh, you know like uh, uh, musicians picked you <laughs> uh, in spite of that there were so many others same way we picked you for the past 25 years for every single arangetram of uh, uh, spring nectar foundation so tell us a little bit about uh, you know as a solo artist accompanying mm-hmm. artist and uh, yeah. as a performer for the children yes i want to um, uh, first i want to say that i am very blessed to be a musician you know that how how blessed we are all to be musicians that too i am doubly blessed as a violinist because i could share the stage with the doyans like balamurli sir shesha gopalan sir shankar narayan sir so every concert is like an examination and every concert we get to learn so many things and playing for different artists we everybody's need is different some artists wanted wants everything to be played in their uh, same octave some artists wants lower octave to be played some artists wants this ragas some artists wants longer version of ragas and every uh, the way they do the nirval improvisation so everything is a learning experience for us so the violinist gets the opportunity to learn more and more imbibe more and more from a company every day so as an accompanist we learn a lot so learning from lal gudi sir learning from all these great vidwans who i accompanied really made me to this level today so my uh, sincere respects to all of them and the second one playing solo concerts is of course it is a joyous thing because you play what you know so you enjoy you cater to the uh, audience so it is a different ball game 
but it's also have has its own uh, pleasure so i played when i was learning from venkatram sir i played with him and i also played with um, tirupani madam few concerts i uh, accompanied lalgur sir's vocal and only once i played with the, him as a, in uh, his uh, violin concert and i played with krishnan sir gjr sir um, uh, vijay lakshmi as you show the photos now and also i played with lalgur sir's students like padma shankar pakala ramdas nyan sundaram and several others and i also played with my students who are uh, of course i am keep playing with the lot of my students senior students and also i played with other musicians other school violin students like recently i am playing violin and viola with murari i played with bu ganesh prasad and several other musicians actually charumati raguram and others so next you asked how you take the arangetram so when it is an arangetram in this age i see a student is like i am the periya i am the maybe periya pa of that child and a guru of that child so ennoda or sanno ennoda or grand sanno vascha if he is in performing what type of comfort i can give to them so any pay, um, teacher ask me of course i play very rarely for arangetrams but whenever i accept a concert i make sure that the child who is going to perform is 100% happy and uh, comfortable singing with the violin and the bhajan so i um, sometimes i may not uh, know the varnam they are singing i really memorize and i i will uh, learn the varnam and i make sure that i will be with them all the time and uh, i will support in the um, sessions where we practice in the practice sessions and i had i had i have first handed i had uh, known that i had seen that <laughs> you know like it's amazing i, I, I really i take it very serious when it is an arangetram i don't see that it's a small child performing and every minute my guruji used to tell me when you play violin you should every minute you should see that you are helping somebody you are the second role and every minute you see how you can en- enhance embellish the concert it's not your concert so it is the team so you have to be like that so that same thing when i play solo also it is the same thing in my mind and when i accompany a junior artist or a getter artist the, it is more responsibility because we have to be really 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 uh, take them and uh, bring the best out of them in the stage true right. true very true amazing and then you played uh, so many stalwarts and uh, when uh, you played for them what was your feeling like i mean you know as a young musician you know like uh, some of them were like uh, you know tvs sir i mean you name uh, like a bigger um, you know doens when you uh, played with them what was your feeling i mean of course you said that uh, for uh, you know for the uh, sangeetha kalanidhi uh, concert uh, you played uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. whenever i play the concerts and even my i am very happy to after the concert some of the concerts we may not be very happy because we may not give our best on that day or we feel some uh, some sort of lacking but which is also necessary an artist should not be very happy with his playing <laughs> and uh, uh, some concerts i really very happy and uh, i used to tell my mother thank you amma for bringing me to music because uh, this is the I, i don't think there is anything else in this world which gives us this much of happiness and you are the one who made me to get all these pleasures of music when i play for balamurali krishna and the way he Uh, brings the best out of me and the way he projects me on the stage shankar narayan sir lot of lot of musicians and every i know i i i have a, i have a small uh, clip uh, that uh, you know i wanted to play for our audience um you know since we are talking about this topic okay. uh, Ga 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 
<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was very beautiful. And yeah. uh, please share some of uh, some unforgettable memories or incidents uh, with your, uh, you know, guru or other gurus or, you know, any other great artist or even with your family and friends about music. Like, uh, you know, it, it, I mean, we would love to hear with gurus, especially, <laughs> you know, those yeah. are the things that we might not know. If you can share some of those unforgettable memories, you know, like it will be great, Avitalji. There is a few, and uh, uh, when I put Tamura with my Guruji, the I can see how he selects the songs for the audience, and he also take care of the mics. How he selects the songs to suit the uh, accompanies, and how he uh, work with the mic sound system, and how he manages the stage. Everything I learned. And uh, in the concert, he always go with the Sahitya. Of course, Lal Gurdjieff's Bani. Uh, so in some places, Ravi Jadi Vanara. If he plays, he will just see me when I was putting tambura. Vanara means monkey. So he just uh, uh, play the song and he just see me. Nobody will understand. Only Sar and myself will understand what he is uh, thinking. Th there are so many things which is... Uh, going through uh, that uh, that uh, unforgettable moments you know i can say that uh, and of course the concerts which i mm, played for uh, tk goind rao sir and uh, balamuli krishna sir and some of the concerts which are completely filled like uh, theater dila v concert in paris for sudharaganathan madam and some some of the concerts of aruna sairam which is completely packed and those wow, that's are, amazing are, those are all beautiful experiences isn't it wonderful experience and uh, uh, i i felt very happy that i'm a musician and uh, yes. thanks goes to the people who took me to that place right 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 yeah. and yeah, the, as yeah as i told you the, in the beginning the teachers who all assembled and uh, uh, gave their you know, showed their blessings through uh, honoring me was a great uh, thing. That's definitely unforgettable memory. Yeah, that's definitely definitely awesome. And of course, traveling with musicians is always a uh, pleasure. Lot of fun, lot of music. It's all uh, wonderful moments. Yes. Very, very, very happy to know that. And then also, you know, as we grow old with grays in our hair, we always wanted to give back to the society, right? You know, like a young age, we wanted to grow ourselves. We wanted to just, you know, like work hard and, you know, to uh, go and get our place. As we grow older, you know, as our hair becomes a grayer, you know, we always wanted to give back to the society. Can you tell us about your current project that you have been doing for for so many years to give back to the community, please. Yeah, it is uh, because as I told you, I am from that village where there was no opportunity to learn music. And uh, now that village has become a small city, uh, but still there is no uh, music, that much of music there. So we as a family, me, my sisters and my mother, we all thought that we have to go and teach music there once in a year. So we used to go there every summer holidays and we spend one month there with doing some of our uh, annual puja and all those. So that time we started teaching the students nearby local students. And my sister had a school in a uh, uh, neighboring uh, town. So the students from there, they used to come and we started there. So it is called Karumbitil Shibira. Shibira means camp. Karumbitil is the name of our house so it started with the 10 students next year it that 10 plus another 15 25 then it grew to 40 and 60 then uh, i was touring with some artists like tm krishna i played in subramanya and he i brought him to our house and he was um, performing and teaching and uh, like that kasturi rangan and whoever i am uh, traveling with, I will bring that musician and they will stay with us for two, three days and they will teach. Like that, it grown up to 7,500 and like that. 
then maestros i started inviting maestros like balamurli sir umayal prem shivaram sir m chandrashekharan sir vb subramanian sir of course gj krishnan vg so everybody came and they shared their musical experiences they performed for the students and it's all uh, because of their great heart they all of course came, that's all very the, very yeah. all the legends sangeeta kalanidhis and all the all my friends like bombay jayshri abhishek raghuram neevel santana gopalan vijay shiva soumya everybody and Amazing. This, yeah. that's i mean at this point i wanted to share uh, a picture that i found about uh, you know the group uh, picture that i found i wanted to share with our audience um yeah in this in this picture we can see santana gopalan murari vidhi subramanian sir cleveland sundaram sir and vani mahal mani and uh, lot of that of course lot of artists are there yeah that's amazing that's really and also you know i have uh, one more a uh, little video to uh, sh- share with our audience <laughs> and to star this with special blessing all the stalwarts have done the stage balamurli krishna sir umayal param shivaraman sir vvs sir raja ram sir bhakta vachalam sir and many 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 more to share the gems with students whom they had never heard before students that they may not see the next time but they want to come every time like we all want to come here because when we experience the music that comes from the stage there is a moment of nothingness yes. there is this single word that prevails in my mind and i'm sure in all the minds here there is only one word that comes perhaps close to this experience to this journey of 20 years and that pre- that word in my humble opinion is prema so might as well call this prema shibira from now on That's beautiful to see mom also there. <laughs> amazing, amazing. That was one so of the beautiful has, uh, of course with the uh, of course with the support of all the artists and uh, my student families who also um, share the burden of the shibira and of course uh, some other um, students families. Uh, it has created a very good uh, atmosphere for music in our area. and a lot of students who came to chennai and they took music as their four five students are completely uh, totally they are music uh, what i can say the, as a profession they are teachers they are uh, recording engineers or something they are to do with the music and only they are from that uh, area and now some 20 to 25 students are learning music from different gurus of course i arrange if they want a certain artist to be their guru i will talk to the artist and i will arrange that and uh, they are all learning music so it's a very good uh, community is building up and this year we are having in 2023 we are having it from 24th may to 28th may and first day rajkumar bharti sir is going to teach second day abhishek raghuraman is coming third day artist from bangalore is coming and fourth day unni krishnan sir is coming and uh, fifth day we have a grand finale with the uh, mysur nagaraj and manjana sir is playing on the violin today and of course all these days vv subramanian sir will be there to bless and share his experiences with us and say so i request all of you to join and come to karmitil shibra at least once maybe in future years whenever Kandipa, i mean definitely now that i mean so we kind of knew a little bit now that you explained it this much and yeah. definitely giving back to the society is uh, you know very important that's one thing you know as i mentioned i really you know like uh, uh, meant what i said as our hair uh, grows a uh, gray we all wanted to give back to the society that's one reason why i'm also doing these kind of uh, a little yes. work to you know 
know like a per uh, you know how many uh, of us knew that all these experiences of yours is like a, it's phenomenal you know so bring musicians and then talk to them and then give their experience to the younger musicians you know they, so that they can grow better than who they are you know oh ipdi enna gurukulam pannanum na ivlo kashtangal irukku um you know it's not like oh, ipala enna na you just go start sariga mapadani and then uh, uh, the t- uh, uh, push teacher to teach uh, uh, two or three, three kirtanais uh, within the first 6 uh, months and then perform for the next 7th uh, month and then the next year they have to perform a concert in the trend is uh, you know this because it's a fast uh, paced uh, world the world became very fast paced and then so people also wanted to go along with that hey i have very limited time but then within that how can i make my uh, son a performer my daughter a performer so in that you know all this long years of learning or uh, all these like uh, the entire i mean i still if i hear some song which i do not know you know i can go and ask my teacher so i will somehow pull uh, the uh, video or audio from my uh, internet i sit down and notate it and gidi gidi na i will learn that song so to satisfy my own uh, you know the student in me to uh, you know keep ourselves as uh, you know like a being in the music this is how uh, you know till today we are it doesn't matter you know i studied with amal vasant kumari amma i studied with so many uh, great uh, teachers uh, you know when i studied in uh, madras university like a sugna ma- mami and uh, i mean like we did so much yeah kalkata krishnamurthy sir and all but the thing is till today i feel like okay i learned nothing when i hear a new song is like oh my god what in the world yeah even yeah. balamun sir when he was speaking to us in the shibra he told i am a senior student of music He, oh, he just okay. said himself. He was telling. So that's I, what is, are all uh, among students of this great art. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, we all feel still. You know, it doesn't matter how much of a fast-paced uh, world we are living in. We still wanted to learn more and more. And I mean, seeing and in that kind of environment when the kids are growing, you know, when I bring these kind of uh, artists speaking about all our life, you said a word, Balamuli Krishna sir. said that i am still a senior student like, you know when so they hear this that, kind of yeah to add that uh, recently kishan sir was mentioning that sir nalguri sir usually tells that music is a way it's not a thing so you keep on the journey should be on throughout our life it is like no yeah this exactly. can very that. true that's awesome. how this uh, the the true musicians the true legends uh, that's how they uh, treat music as and uh, that you know i wanted all the youngsters who are learning uh, to become a musician later on should hear these kind of stories that's i mean as i said as my gray <laughs> grows uh, these are all the things i wanted to bring it <laughs> uh, vitu yes. sir what is mm-hmm. your advice uh, to uh, the younger generation of musicians i mean i'm just talking i don't want to even say this is not my interview but what no. is your advice to the younger generation uh, of uh, musicians uh, uh, who would like to take up carnatic music as a career yeah so there is two things one everybody cannot take carnatic music as a career because uh, of course now i don't know how far they will be succeeding because the talent their hard work and the opportunities and the everything should count to take it as a career but learning any art form music or any art form of course it's not for the sake of just uh or going to the competitions or playing concerts or whatever it should actually i tell all my students that it is uh, it will shape our personality if you have a art form in you a disciplined art form a classical art form maybe bharatanatyam or music or whatever the way you think way you see way you think the outer world will be very different a elephant or a sheep or a hill or whatever a waterfall everything will be so artistic for you and the way you talk the way you eat with the way you dress everything will change because artist it is a discipline where you learn the fine of the fine artist art so it will also mold you as a wonderful person so we all should make our next generation learn any of these art art forms 
So I think it's the greatest gift a parent can give to the children is some art form. And taking it a, a, a serious music students, of course, they have to really, really work hard. There, I can see that there are so many younger musicians in uh, Chennai and in United States and maybe in other countries also. They are doing wonderfully well and they come every six months if I listen to them. I can see the graph is growing like that. They are playing so well. Of course, my students, when I taught uh, Embar Kannan, Amrita Murali, they are all very senior and wonderful musicians today. So, uh, it is all the dedication, the passion, the hard work, the opportunities they get. They should have an open mind to listen to all genres of music, all the artists, and make whatever uh, possible for them to uh, give it back so that they can also make their own vani out of that. So this all makes them a good musician. And of course, everything, more than everything, the discipline in, in life is very, very, very important in every aspect. So I think uh, uh, these are all the things, of course, it's not a, a shortcut. Course, it's, course, it's not yeah. a shortcut. No, there uh, is no shortcut. Yeah, there is. <laughs> For that, yeah, especially you know, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, Carnatic music, the intricate, uh, you know, melodies, and the, you know, all these things. It's not that that easy uh, for them to you know uh, become a performer in shortcuts, definitely. And that's a, a good uh, you know yes. advice, uh, Vitalji. And uh, Vitalji, can I um, ask you to just play something for our audience, uh, something oh. small, so that they can also hear you i mean of course you you know finally at the end of the day uh we know vitalji as a, a performer of a violin so we would love to hear you a little bit yeah. uh, i will play a few ragas maybe one ragas and then... anything yes
Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Vital Ji. I mean, you know, the Indian Express has said it's always a musical feast to hear the violin speak through the expressive bow of Vital Ramurthy. It's not, it doesn't speak. Konjar de Oglode, you know, bow. So that's what I would say. It's a very beautiful treat for all of us. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, this is really amazing that you could uh, share your time with all of us uh, so that, you know, we can hear your story. And, uh, you know, I don't know how to thank you, Vitalji. I mean, of course, we are going to be seeing you uh, in thank September. You. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, thank also, you so I also enjoyed, I enjoyed talking to you and, of course, uh, uh, sharing my experiences with all the audience. Beautiful, beautiful. And I just want one last, uh, you know, like a, a thing I wanted to tell our audience, uh, you know, in uh, conclusion, artists beyond limits are those who have taken the art form of uh, their choice uh, to new heights. They have not only enriched the world of Carnatic music, but have also contributed to the cultural heritage of India. Um, they are the ones uh, who have uh, moved us uh, uh, with their music, inspired us uh, with their message through music, and uh, left us in awe of uh, their musical talent. Uh, you know, as we are inspired by their creativity and uh, strive to be an artist beyond the limits within our own terms, uh, let us take their advice especially you know what we told you said uh, you take his advice and any other great musicians advices and uh, you know experiences into uh, consideration and grow with that their legacy will continue to inspire and influence generations to come for sure thank you all um, for joining us and your support and uh, for our broadcast is a very 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 important so just make sure that uh, you know you uh, like and comment and give us your love by sharing this content uh, uh, you know to um, your uh, other music fans your family and friends any other music lovers so that Vittles's uh, story can be heard by so many other uh, youngsters as well you know I will see you all next week uh, with yet another beautiful episode of Artists Beyond Limits with yet another wonderful artist till then stay happy and uh, stay safe uh, and spread love and peace through music and fine arts uh, not only within your family and with friends uh, but with everyone around the world to make this world a beautiful and wonderful place to live and uh, thank you all again thank you to vital g's uh, uh you know phenomenal interview and uh, uh love to you all and see you all soon thank you so much <laughs>